I think that having an aviation center nearby would be something that the students would get excited about. And when you can make a teenager excited about learning, that that completely changes the way that you teach. The biggest difference from when I was in school uh, is everything's more hands-on and it has more of a practical application. It, you, know, you can talk theory all day long, but it really sinks in once you put your hands on, you know, put your hands in the lesson and, and become totally involved and immersed, and uh, that's probably the biggest difference. AIR, or the Alabama Aviation Innovation Research Center, uh, will be a collaborative environment bringing together the workforce development assets of the state of Alabama, the two-year technical training programs the state has to offer, as well as the four-year research institutions, hopefully coupling all of that in a pathway for our high school kids in the aviation and aerospace sector to find a career path in the aviation business once again to, to live a long and fruitful and prosperous career here in Mobile. I think STEM brings us just overall excitement because it's new, it's hands-on, it's student-driven. The teacher is now the facilitator and not the sole source of information. They get to work with partners. They learn a lot with the collaboration skills and a lot of skills that the you know, companies and colleges are looking for nowadays. And they're excited about that. They want to go, they want to learn, and just they're so inquisitive. One of the things that we encourage our students to do is to have internships that work with companies, agencies, organizations in a field that they might want to have a job in in the future. It's one of the best situations where they can find out, and particularly if they do it on early on, whether this is what I really want to do for my career. Well, I've always been very interested in aviation since I was little, playing with airplanes, flying around the house, and to the point that we're here to work on airplanes, and maybe you can get your pilot license. I believe there's very different um, facilities or workshops that you can go to and do what you love, and do what you came here to learn to do. For his age, uh, to have the chance to go experience those things, first of all, it's, it's getting his interest level uh, even higher into it. And I, I see a career uh, past to, you know, where he's at now, you know. I mean, right now he's interested in getting his pilot license and, you know, just talking to other pilots. Uh, the type of career he can carry on when he gets out of school or college uh, is tremendous. I think the other part of it, too, is just what it means for a community to come together. And in this case, it's more than just Mobile, it's other universities as well, in the sense that we're willing to, to work together to make everything better here in Mobile. Right now, we've already had commitments from the University of South Alabama, Auburn, Alabama, Tuskegee, Embry-Riddle, Troy University, and several others that we're currently talking to now that I think will join the exercise here. The concept of uh, the Aviation Center is really exciting to our community. And because I think it really pulls together what's been going on for a very long period of time, the history of aviation, but it also is going to project us into the future. So we welcome uh, everybody associated with the Aviation Center and the Aviation Industry. Mm -hmm.